Hey guys, it's Ilya Miguel here from Toy Quest 101. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about the comic book haul I got from Whatnot and the rabbit hole I went down using the app for the very first time. And that was some good stuff, right? Now. now. Alright, what did you do? <laughs> You're such a hater, alright? I did a thing, relax. Jeez, yeah. my goodness. Well guys, welcome back and I guess we are going to talk about the rabbit hole my dad went down and how he got all these new comic books. That's right, on today's episode we're going to be talking whatnot and my comic book haul using the app and who I got it from. Now before we start, we want to remind you guys to subscribe to Toy Quest 101 and don't forget to hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any toy reviews, statue unboxings, or any celebrity guests that might pop up on our show. Now this is going to be a little bit different than what we do on normal episodes because we're going to be talking about comic books. Now comic books is something I started with before I got into figures and statues, just like most of you at home, so I'm super excited and can't wait to talk about it. Well, Dad, why did you start explaining to us what is Whatnot, please? Sure. So Whatnot is a community marketplace where you could safely buy, sell, go live, and geek out with collectors alike. Now, basically, this is like eBay and Twitch had a baby. This would be it. It's live stream selling combined with the thrill of real-time bidding, and that's what Whatnot is. It's good for the buyer, and it's good for the seller. And now that you have the 401, Ileana, Let's start diving deep into my comic book haul and who we got it from right now. All right, guys, let's talk about our first comic book. Now, this is a what if comic book. This is what if Miles Morales became Captain America. Now, this is a really cool virgin variant. It has no fonts, no titles, no nothing. It's strictly art, and I absolutely think it's amazing. Yeah, it's a really great cover, and Miles Morales is one of my favorite characters. That's right. Now, we got this from Gentman Collectibles, a friend of ours. He's been on the show before. He's a great YouTuber, very big in the world of YouTubing, and he does reviews, unboxings, he talks about comic books, I mean, you name it. The guy has always laid down the path and the blueprint for collectors to follow him, and he branched off to whatnot a couple years ago, and although I'm late to the party, I have him to thank for, and my first purchase was with Gent Mint Collectibles. Not only did he let me purchase this from him, but he sent us some goodies with it. Eliana, what else did he send? They sent us a Gent Mint patch, a Gemma bookmark, and Marvel Universe Series 2 trading cards. That's really cool, but Ileana, do you want to open them? Yeah. All right, Ileana is ready, and I am ready. Now, these are cool. These are from 1991. This is the Marvel Universe Series 2 package, and it contains 12 cards and your chance at a bonus hologram. So, Ileana, why don't you open these guys up? And, of course, we always want to strive to try to get that rare card, that hologram card, or that chase card. But we also want to see what cool uh, superheroes or villains we get. So the first one is Banshee, one of the members from the X-Men. Good card here. Now, these cards are dope. These are classic battles between, uh, you know, a superhero and a villain. This one's Daredevil and Kingpin. Classic. These cards are dope. These are the strength and power cards that tell you everything that every superhero has. Another superhero here, Wonder Man. Spider-Man versus Doc Ock, another classic fight. This is Anhelus, another deadly villain. Ah, oh, here's a good card, Dark Phoenix from the X-Men. We got Cable, another good card. We got Baron Strucker, another villain. All right, oh, another classic battle, Punisher versus Kingpin. We got Psylocke. Another good one, Thor versus Loki, and back to the beginning of the pack. All right, guys, so let's move on. Now, these are my pickups from Arch Rival Comics. This is Alex, this is Shelby, and Kai. Now, this was such a cool stream to be on, probably one of my favorites, and I got some really cool pickups from them, and I have to say that these are my favorite pickups from my entire uh, experience and whatnot. Now, we got some signed slabs here, and we got some virgin copies that are autographed that we're gonna show you guys. Um, now, the first thing we're gonna show you here is one of my favorites. This 
is Punisher number one. This is an Alex Ross variant cover. And as you can see right here, Teixeira, Mark Teixeira, not only signed it, but he did make a remark here. And it has the Terminator on the other side of his face, which I think it's super cool. And it's also signed by Gary Conway. Now check that out. One of my favorite purchases, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of artwork. I love Alex Ross. And look at this Punisher cover. I mean, Punisher meets Terminator. I think that's really cool. Um, and this is one of my favorite pickups, if not my favorite pickup from my experience with Whatnot and the guys over at Arch Rival Comics. So shout out to you guys, Alex, Shelby, and Kai. Now, we have another one here. This is Hulk number three. Uh, this is a really cool 9.8 signed by Donny Cates. As you can see, it's paying homage to the old school Hulk 181. It has Wolverine here with the short ears and it has uh, a new uh, Hulk on the cover, which I thought was really cool. Again, a 9.8 slab. And I got these on a heck of a deal um, and I cannot complain. So Eliana, why don't you take those and put them down for now, all right? And let's move this here to the middle. And now we're gonna talk about some Virgin covers that we got here. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now this is Deadpool number 13, and this is done by Addy Garav, and it's a 25th tribute Virgin cover. It's absolutely gorgeous. You see here Scarlet Witch and the Vision, and it looks absolutely amazing. Now this is one of my favorite covers. I love the artwork. I love everything about it. Um, it's really cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this is another nice pickup from those guys. Check that out. Addie Grenov, all right. So this is another cool comic book. And now this is a Daredevil number 600, very edition, and it's signed by Joe Quesada. Check that pickup out and look at the back. It has a COA from Arch Rival Comics. Again, signed by Joe Quesada. And these comic books come in very, very nice. Uh, they look like they're 9.8s if I wanted to get them graded. It does come with a COA as well, but what a cool pickup, guys. I got this for less than $20, guys. Less than $20, absolutely cool pickup here. Signed by Joe Quesada and the man without fear, Daredevil. So, all right, let's put that one over there. All right, so now this is a double signature by Ben Percy and Marco Mastrazzo. Now this is a Ghost Rider number one variant and it's double signed with a COA in the back, again, from Arch Rival Comics. And just look at that cover, absolutely cool, super nice. And again, it's a double signature comic book right here. So listen, Whatnot is really cool, right? Because you're saving your time from going to the Comic-Con, spending that money, staying in lines. These guys are going out there, putting in all hard work, and you get to support them and pick up some cool comic books just like this one. And let me tell you, Alex is one of the best out there, just like Gem Mint Collectibles. Last but not least, we have another cover here by Tyler Kirkham, one of my favorite artists, and this is a nice virgin copy with some of the X-Men on it. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Really cool. Again, with a COA in the back, another cool comic book to add to the collection. So, Eliana, which ones are your favorite? I'm gonna have to say the Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, definitely a good pickup. And again, mine is going to be the Punisher sketch by Mark Teixeira, where he meets Terminator. I think that's cool on an Alex Ross cover. And I think it's really cool, man. What do you think? Yeah, it's really awesome. All right, so shout out to Alex, shout out to Shelby and Kai, and thank you for these pickups. But let's see what else we got. All right, guys, let's finish off the episode with the bulk of my pickups and that came from lunatic comics so she is super cool i had a lot of pickups from her channel again most of my comic books i got from her uh, a lot of variants a lot of virgin covers and a lot of comic books that i needed for my own collection or i thought they were cool and i needed to have so eliana what don't you have on your side I got the last one. All right, so I also have the last one. Now this is El Delgado variant right here. So two Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pickups here from her to start off this batch of comics. All right, what else you have? I got Spider-Man. All right, now this is one of my favorites from her. This is the amazing Spider-Man 800. This is a Gabrielle Delato exclusive variant. Uh, now, as you can see, I have the red cover. She has the uh, white cover. 
These are variant virgins and this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this Spider-Man on this cover. The artwork is absolutely amazing, right Liana? Yeah. All right, so what else do you have? I got the amazing Spider-Man. All right, that is a variant cover and that is a New York Comic Con exclusive from Comic Exposure. Check that out. We did see that at the con when we went. So that is a cool pickup there as well. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, give you every detail of every comic just for time's sake. So we might run through these uh, a little bit faster than others. And uh, here I have some sort of Fantastic Four cover here with Invisible Woman. Again, this is a virgin cover. I like the cover of it. So I picked that up. Eliana, what do you have? I got Venom. All right, that's a Spider-Man or Venom with a great Venom picture on it. Again, it is a virgin cover. So absolutely love that. Now here's another one of my favorites. I believe this is a Magneto comic. Um, I mean, look how gorgeous this cover is. You got uh, the White Queen uh, right here with Magneto's helmet or Emma Frost. I mean, this is super dope. I absolutely think this is one of the most gorgeous uh, comic books I've seen. The artwork is extraordinary. All right, Indiana, what do you have? I got Moon Knight. All right, this is an exclusive variant. Um, there's a couple different ones. I picked up this particular one. Um, it is the uh, black and white version of this Virgin variant cover of Moon Knight. Uh, this is a cool one to have. He's kind of upside down. Uh, you can see him uh, flying uh, off a building and stuff. So really thought that was a cool piece to have there. Uh, here I have another uh, Invisible Woman. This must be a Fantastic Four variant cover here. Just a cool Virgin cover, right? Love the artwork again. I'm really into the Virgin covers. I don't like to have the font or anything on there. Again, here's another one. This is Dr. Octopus. And this must be a Spider-Man uh, variant cover as well. Uh, Eliana, what do you have? I got Black Panther. All right, now this is a dope one. You saw one of my Alex Ross pieces before. This is a Black Panther variant there uh, with Alex Ross's art. Super dope, love it, virgin cover. Uh, here's another amazing Spider-Man number four. Now this is a variant cover. I love this because it has uh, the black symbiote uh, costume on or suit for Spider-Man and he's marrying Mary Jane while uh, Black Cat is in the back kind of shocked, right? So this is a cool one, uh, Secret Wars comic exposure. And again, this is the amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number four variant edition right here. Now, like I told you guys before, I love the Virgin covers and this is a perfect example here of what the difference is. Now I have two here uh, covers of the same comic book. This is the Wolverine number one, black, white, and blood. Now as you can see here is the normal comic book and here's the Virgin cover. As you can see, there's no titles, no fonts, no lettering, anything like that. It's just the pure comic art. Um, and you guys know I love Wolverine, so I picked these two up uh, from Lunatic Comics and I absolutely love them, right? Yeah. Cool, all right. Uh, now speaking of that, here's another example, Return of Wolverine number one. Here's the regular comic book and here is the virgin copy of it. All right, now speaking of Return of Wolverine, Eliana, what do you have? I got uh, Return of Wolverine. That's right, that's another uh, variant issue there. Um, definitely love this, this is number one. Uh, these are actually ones that I needed for my collection. I am trying to collect every single uh, a cover for that series so definitely pick that up thank you and shout out to lunatic comics once again here's another version of wolverine now look at that man i mean you gotta love the virgin copies right yeah. uh again it's a great piece of artwork you see wolverine there with his claws uh, grinding his teeth absolutely love this cover liana what do you have i got spider-man all right there's a spider-man uh virgin uh variant cover there really nice now here i have another one this is venom verse uh Number one, now this is the Virgin variant, and it looks like it's a Venomized Cable, man. I mean, check that out. That looks really neat, all right? Uh, beautiful cover, again, beautiful artwork. Again, this is a Virgin cover. Uh, Eliana, what do you have? I got Captain America. Another Virgin cover of Captain America. Love the artwork, had to pick that one up. Uh, here's another good one. Um, I absolutely love this cover as well. You see Galactus here with Ghost Rider. Now this is Thanos number 16. This is a variant virgin cover. Uh, really cool. Uh, love the artwork, right? Yeah. Beautiful, just gorgeous. Um, one more here. Now this is probably one of my favorite pickups that I got from her. Um, now this is paying homage to Uncounty X-Men 268. If you guys remember, it had Captain America, had Black Widow. 
um, and it also had Wolverine. This is the Devil's Reign number one. This is the variant version, and again, you see Daredevil there, um, and it's paying homage to the Uncounty X Men 268. Gorgeous cover, absolutely love it. I mean, it just screams nostalgia to me. And I love homage covers and, of course, a virgin cover as well. Indiana, what do you have? I got Fantastic Four number one. All right, that's a variant Fantastic Four number one. Really nice. Now, here I have uh, a Kyler Kirkland, um, sorry, Tyler Kirkland uh, cover here. Now, this is Amazing Spider-Man number six, number 900 here. It has a white background. It's cool to collect these guys. There's a couple different ones. There's a black one, there's a red one, the normal cover. I so happen to pick up the white one here. Uh, this is Tyler Kirkham. Uh, wonderful artist, absolutely love his work. Nice pick up there. Eliana, what's the last one you have? I got Fantastic Four number one. All right, again. another variant cover. Number one has Mr. Fantastic Four on it. Um, now check this out guys, this is a variant cover. This is a Venomized X-23, absolutely gorgeous cover. Love this one. Uh, here I have the Dark uh, Dark Knight Metal 1. This is a Tim Bradstreet Virgin cover. Uh, my buddy Joe from YouTube, uh, and of course Chris the Batman statue collector, are really into this whole Batman line, uh, so I had to pick up this uh, Virgin cover here, all right? And then uh, I got two more, Yana, why don't you hold that up? This is the Unknown uh, Comics Fantastic Four number three Virgin variant. And this is another Spider-Man um, variant here. Check that out, Virgin cover as well. Now, that was a mouthful of comic books and covers, but a lot of great pickups there. Now these are the really good finds that I got uh, with Lunatic Comics, thanks to her. Now these comic books gave me such a hard time to find. I probably bidded for this set uh, multiple times and I finally got these after she tagged me um, and I'm excited to have this. Now this is Edge of the Spider-Verse. It's a five set um, series here paying homage to that uh, Spider-Man cover, that classic Spider-Man cover. Now you're gonna see here number one, all right. We're gonna put that here. You're gonna see here number two. Put that one right there. You're gonna see number three. Eliana, why don't you show that one off? You're gonna see number four. And here I have number five. Now this is one through five. Now this set runs about uh, close to 150 to $200. And I got a really good deal on this. Um, less than $100, believe it or not. Finally picked these up. Beautiful covers, all variant covers, um, and this is uh, definitely uh, a great piece to have in the collection. One Eliana loved as well, so this is that there. And not only did we pick these up, guys, but we picked up another five set. Now this is a connecting set of the same comics, The Edge of the Spider-Verse 2. Now, we're gonna do these uh, a little bit out of order, so that way we can connect the covers for you. This is number five. You gotta hold that. This is number four, all right? This is number three right here. We're gonna put that right next to it. Try to get them connected together. And this is number two and one, as you could see right here, a connecting cover, beautiful display of artwork with all the different Spider-Mans and their Spider-Verse. Had to pick this one up. Lunatic Comics did it again with this one. Uh, got this off of her stream. Beautiful covers, um, absolutely love it. Now I have two different sets of the variant covers for Edge of Spider-Verse and I cannot be more pleased about it. Eliana, what do you think? I think this is a re really amazing thing. That's right, we got a lot of great pickups. Again, I wanted to thank everybody who uh, just gave me an amazing time on Whatnot. Um, I, obviously, shout out to Gem Mint Collectibles, uh, shout out to uh, Alex at Arch Rival Comics, a uh, shout out to Shelby and Kai, and of course, Lunatic Comics. You guys are the best. You made my experience so, such a great experience, right? And of course, I went down that rabbit hole and bought a lot of comic books. Some I didn't need, but some I just had to get because of the price or because of the cover art. So thank you so much. Now guys, if you're interested in joining Whatnot, Make sure you follow us on Whatnot Toy Quest 101 because we will be selling soon on Whatnot. And just because we love you guys, in the link in the bio, you guys can sign up and get $10 off your first purchase, whether it's with us or any of the other streamers that we mentioned. Make sure you go follow them as well. 
But that concludes our episode. So, Yana, why don't you tell everybody where they can find us? You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. And don't forget to subscribe to Toy Quest 1-1. We'll see you on another episode. Bye, guys. Bye.